In the last video, we discussed how the BISC DAO and the BSQ token replace centralized decision making and revenue collection in the BISC network. In this video, we're going to look at how that actually works, how traders and contributors in the network use those tools in practice. The use case we're going to cover is compensating a contributor. Some guy named Steve wants to be paid compensated for some documentation that he wrote. He happens to think that his work is worth 0.5 Bitcoin, so half a Bitcoin. And that's what he wants to be compensated. But remember, this is a decentralized network. There is no, uh, no one on the network with any special powers, no one person who can look at Steve's request and the work that he did and make some determination as to whether his request is reasonable or not. Furthermore, even if there were some way to make that determination, there is no account that collects trading fees that Steve could be paid from in the first place. So what happens? How does this work? How can Steve possibly be paid? Well, basically Steve is, instead of requesting pay from a single person, a boss or a manager or whatever, he's going to request pay, he's going to make his case to the BISC network. BISC stakeholders will then vote on his request, and then if they approve his request, he gets paid. Now that's the basic idea. There's a little more to the story, and we've broken it down into four steps. Let's walk through each one. So step one, make a compensation request. In order for Steve to get paid, he's going to have to make a case to get paid. And making a request in the BISC DAO has two components. First is a write-up. This typically takes place on GitHub. So you can see an example of a write-up here on the left. Uh, this is actually an actual write-up from January of this year. There are uh, so that the contributions that were delivered are listed along with links to each pull request for people to find out more about the actual contribution. And the second part to making a request is submitting that request in the BISC DAO. So when the DAO goes live, there will be a DAO button on the top and we can do a lot of DAO related things. And one of the things you can do is submit a compensation request. So here you can see that we're uh, making a compensation request and we're gonna paste in the link to the GitHub write-up that we made. And we're going to go ahead and hit make, make proposal. Now, one crucial thing to keep in mind that's not really shown here, but when we submit this request in the BISC DAO, we're going to include a very tiny amount of Bitcoin, just a few Satoshis. Okay, we'll go into why that is in the next couple of steps in a couple minutes, but just in the back of your mind, just keep in mind that this is not just a plain text submission, there's going to be a little bit of Bitcoin that goes with it. Step two, DAO stakeholders vote. So every couple of weeks on a roughly monthly basis, DAO voting takes place. DAO stakeholders are anybody uh, who uses or contributes to BISC. So contributors, traders, and you know folks can participate if they want. It's totally voluntary. Uh, but they'll folks who do want to participate will go through the proposals that have been made in the in the current cycle. So you can see here on the right, this is a uh, list of proposals that was made in a recent uh, testnet voting round. And yeah, they'll consider each one carefully, ponder each one, take a look, find out more details about each request, and then vote in favor of the ones they like, reject the ones they don't like, and you know, just pass or abstain from the ones that they are uh, not very familiar with. 